Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, in the last video we got all of our gear crafted. I would like to reinforce it if our character has the time, but he is getting hungry. And we went through all of our water. It's a bit of a walk to the town, so I don't think we really have time to reinforce it. I'm mean, sure we'd be fine, but our character would start being in pain, which then we'd not do as well in combat. I'm not going to bother talking with our NPC. Because he'll probably want something done that'll make a horrible, horrible monster spawn. And I just prefer to avoid that happening. There's rats out here. Might go run out and kill those rats. I don't know if they still run after every enemy they can find. Those wolves up north. The cat. Let's see what's in this other UVAC shelter. I don't know if these UVAC shelter basements can be horrible anymore. So what clothing would be nice? First aid kits are super awesome. Gamma Globulin shot. Probably be useful too. But anyway, it used to be Ooh, a screwdriver set. I wonder if that just replaced a screwdriver or if it's just like a better version of a screwdriver. Oh, well, it has one level of fine screwdriving quality, so yeah, it does have a special effect. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, that doesn't help us immediately. We might come back for it, though. As these basements and these survival shelters could just be pits to hell, basically. <laughs> or worse. But I haven't seen that in a while, so I don't know if it still happens. Let's eat our beans that we found here. Our guy's unhappy from being wet. You're wearing a hooded hat. You should be good, bro. That's gonna be his problem. You gotta get used to looking at this mini map to kind of get more, more information about what's going on around me here. Because it is a nice little feature that I'd like to get a lot more use out of. Uh, see that blinking red light? I think is a zombie. Scroll over there and see, maybe. No, it's a wolf. Is that what that is? No, it's a dog. Oh, yeah, because dogs, dogs trigger the... I guess this is anything that triggers safe mode. I still don't know why dogs do trigger safe mode. Giant wasps are not fun. So they overran this house over here. I don't really want to fight a bunch of giant wasps, although there's a set of freaking armor right here. It might be power armor. <laughs> it's freaking power armor. There's power armor laying right there on the ground. Ready to go. No, it's not quite ready to go. Because, uh, so I can't stop. Yeah, there's good stuff in there. But yeah, there's power armor sitting right there. Even without a power source, I could probably put it on and just be invincible while I kill those things. But, it's a little risky. We'll have to keep it in mind as an option, though, of how to deal with them. I don't know if they're, like, more or less aggro than they used to. Oh, there's a person here. What are you doing? I'm just here for the paycheck. I see. There's Raiden. Uh, he doesn't have anything of use. I don't even notice there's an NPC there. He must have just spawned right in on top of us. To see, even... What did I have it set to? 20%? Or was it 25%? Oh, he's wielding me. Sure. Maybe they don't spawn with as good equipment as they used to, so that might help immensely. But it used to be they'd have, like, AK-47s and stuff all the time. But now he has a makeshift crowbar just like we do. Honestly, he'll probably just die on these wasps. He's probably going to go attack the wasps. Uh, there's a tough zombie fighting a crack, which means we probably have a... Uh, 
group of dead bodies nearby. That spawned a uh, demon. It's up there, there's the tough zombie, so we might have to deal with that. But I'm pretty sure that NPC is going to go after the, uh, the wasps down there, and that's fine if he wants to do that. Clear out the po- Ooh, what if he gets a hold of the power armor, though? I don't want him to get the power armor. I mean... bad is he? Can I examine him to like get an idea of his health? I don't know if I can. No. I want to see how much health he has. Oh, what's he wearing for armor? don't want him to end up getting this good loot that's in this building. So, uh... He might grab all this stuff, too. But this is something I think we gotta do here. Uh... Oops, don't wanna do that. Going to take off a bunch of our stuff. So I can put on the, uh power armor. Yeah, he's taking my stuff. I have to drop more. He's taking everything. <laughs> we have to get this power armor on so I can kill him. Outrun us, but maybe we'll get stuck on some. No, go fight the thing, dude. Not sure I can still see him anywhere. Well, I'm just gonna reload if he took all of our stuff and ran away. away endlessly. It's over here somewhere, I think. I don't see him anywhere. Alright. I'm not going to let him take all my stuff. I wouldn't have dropped all my stuff if I couldn't catch him. This is gonna actually get rid of the power armor. I knew I should have saved the game when I saw the power armor, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to feel like I was save scumming. Okay, I do that constantly though, so I shouldn't really feel guilty about it. What's that? Flyer. Okay, that's what I figured it probably was, but okay. There's probably less useful stuff down here now. It's gonna be empty now. God damn it. <sighs> oh, hopefully it's still a a wasp spawn. I don't know if that's something that changes. Oh, we have a survivor zombie after us. It's not a wasp house anymore. I'm botched that up. That annoys me. I should have saved it as soon as I saw the power armor. I just... Actually, that might not be a bush, that might be a flower. <laughs> okay, you're getting a lot of hits on me, buddy. 
once you get hit like once or twice, then it starts really uh, stacking up on you, and it's not fun. 29 pain, how much damage does our gear take? Trench coat hut hit a couple times. Do we have any... Uh, we don't have any infection, so we should be otherwise okay other than the pain, which is a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's a shame. That armor. I was worried, though, that he would be able to, uh... That he'd be able to take it. That'd be pretty bad. Instead, he got away with everything. Just because he went in the wrong direction, basically. He should've just kept going on, killing more. Gonna take these leather items with us for now. If he had gone the other way, he would've got stuck on more creatures. And then I could've, uh... caught up to him. As it was, the power armor made me too slow. It's okay, I think there's a cave on this map. Yeah, there's still a cave here. So there's still power armor near us. So it's not as easy to get inside a cave. I'm gonna be grabbing a lot of this stuff at first, even though we might not need it immediately. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Can't stuff a plastic cup of yogurt while well, it's not empty. What the fuck? Am I out of inventory space already? No. Oh, that has to be a bug then, right? Yeah, it's a half pound and it has one volume. It's a cup of yogurt. There's something broke with it though. What's wrong with the... okay. Whatever. I don't... There has to be a glitch of some sort, because I've never seen something like that. It's almost looked like a creature. Oh, it kinda is. It's a talking doll. Sling pack. Let me grab it and bring it with us. I don't know if I need it, though. It's probably too little volume, although it may come in handy later once we have a, uh... So is it just water in that toilet? Yes. Once we have a shopping cart. Hop down to rabbit hole here. Uh, what's that? What's that? You I don't like it. It's water. This is a new basement. I've never seen this basement before. Hoped human forge corpse. But there's an M60 here. <laughs> a freaking machine gun here. A little afraid of what we might find here. There's logs, screwdrivers, sledgehammer. This does not fall out where the sledgehammer is the best. Close to the, you know, the regular sledgehammer and Fallout 1 is an okay weapon. Not the best, 
not the worst, but the Super Sledge was the best melee weapon on paper. That being said, I didn't use it. That's a little bit too heavy for what I, I like to play. This basement is an interesting homemade hand cannon. It's not really useful. These things aren't useful without their ammo. But I guess I should grab these and see if either one of those kinds of ammos is the right kind. The 45 APC is. I'm guessing it's for the hand cannon. Yeah. Well, that's better than nothing if we get attacked by a uh, NPC on the road, it might be worth it. This is an interesting little house, or interesting little downstairs. Like, it would almost be a tempting, uh, a tempting base, because nothing can get down in the darkness. But at the same time, it's also not, uh, not the safest, or it's not the easiest to work in, because there's no daylight. I'd have to keep a fire going at all times, which is a pain in the butt. Have I checked everything in the house yet? No. Guitar. Leather backpack, that's an upgrade from what we have. Oh jeez. I don't know if the ammo downstairs might fit this Remington. Bifocals. What's this one do normally? Low-level survival tips. I'm not sure it'll help. Uh, no. All right, now we're carrying too much stuff. So I'll drop the leather stuff here in the backpack. Copper pot. Basically, all the really heavy stuff I can't carry around with me very easily, and also don't need on the fly. I also won't need this much food. I don't think, but. Keep the fresh food. This is gonna go bad anyway. Eat some lunch meat. Plastic bag. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again? I don't know. Let's get this leather backpack on, since it's ob objectively better than our regular backpack. I think it is a little bit heavier, but... The extra protection it has is worth it. You won't have to worry about uh, your backpack breaking as often. Because it's on the top layer, so it is like one of the first things that gets hit. Now there's a bicycle there, unless that's a motorcycle. Can't really tell. That's a bicycle. So if we have two different size wheels, but if we can replace the wheels, it'll be good to go. And, uh... It may end up being just as good as having a cart or a vehicle. I wanted everything in there. Oh, I have I picked up eight pumpkins. What is the? What's their size? Oh yeah, they're big. <laughs> oh, I picked up eight pumpkins. Thunderstorm going on. Is that just water in there? Yes, because everything else is on the other side of the town. in there, what the hell? Oh yeah, it's like a home decor building across from us. Air winter boots, that's what we're already wearing. Regular boots, though, is what we need, especially ones that fit. So I will get rid of our winter boots, because they're encumbering us, and get these regular boots. I'm still frustrated with that uh, power armor debacle. I should have saved. I was thinking about it. 
I just really didn't want to feel like I was save scumming, but that's what you get when you don't cheat. <laughs> no, we're already cheating, so it doesn't really matter, right? Or is it cheating since it's in the options? You decide. Uh, I'm gonna drop our pumpkins off in here just because I need to be able to carry some things. And also the stuff that we just couldn't carry. Uh, my guy's probably not gonna want to eat a raw bird egg, so I'll just go ahead and drop that too on a on the assumption that he's not going to want to eat that. Have him eat some of the stuff that's not really good for him. There. Then drop our trash. Oh yeah, I have to check the basement of this place for the Remington ammo. I don't think it is... I mean, it's just not likely. I should open these crates, though, just to be sure there's nothing in them. Uh, where was the ammo? Up here? No. I might want to take it with me, though. Okay, 7.62, that's common enough. It should... Common enough in real life that it should be, uh... Reasonable to find a gun that can fire those. They're incendiary rounds, I imagine that'd be pretty good for some of the tougher monsters in this game. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the ammo behind though, because I don't need it. And the gun, I guess. Uh, yeah. I was thinking maybe I need it so I can keep in mind what ammo type I need for it. Of course, I could just write that down and remember, but nah. Not right now. That door cried open. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna sneeze. I think. Ah, uh, it won't. Okay, it finally did happen. <laughs> but I think I muted the uh, microphone in time. So we should be good for that matter. Uh, we found work gloves. Oh, geez, encumbrance of 20. That sounds a little... Ridiculous, doesn't it? Comfort's freaking 20. That's a lot. What do the light gloves have? Comfort's a 2. Jesus, they're 10 times. Well, they don't fit. I guess maybe fitting them would help a lot. I honestly don't know exactly how much it would help. Just that it would help. Dehydrated fish. Got the frying pan now, I think. Yeah, I'm carrying it around, even though I didn't really need to carry it around. A lot of this stuff looks good. So we don't need the alcohol, since we get addicted to stuff easy. Oh, what? Pudding. I don't get these freaking pudding cups. Oh, that's not what I meant to eat. Yeah, there's just something glitched out with the... With the pudding cups and the... Uh... Put it in a... Oh, really? No. 
This is the experimental build of the game, so stuff can go wrong. It's just really strange. See, I put it in a plastic bottle, and that's fine. So that, is it trying to imply that the plastic cups of stuff are like open containers? So you can't take them with you? I don't know. I'm gonna have to... I think I grabbed a US Weekly. I'll have to talk to that. Talk to people on the forums about that one. I don't think we need a hip flask. It's too small to carry what we need. Hydrogen peroxide. Probably a uh, good way to should probably grab these scissors. I've been ignoring them when I've seen them, but I imagine. Well, I don't. I don't imagine. I just saw it when I was looking at the menu that we need them to make a tailor's kit. She might not just find everything we need for her. We might not. Might not just find a tailoring kit. We might have to build one. Statues. This is the home improvement store. But I don't think this is going to be too useful for us. Carpets here. Like, if I open up my ooh, crafting menu, I wonder if that actually pops up. Like, is there a way to put down a different kind of flooring? Let's see, roofs. Wow, this list got huge. This list used to be really, really tiny. Can I remove carpet. Yeah, it can carpet the floor. I don't think it serves any function right now, other than looks. I've discussed on the forum before making a mod where uh, cleanliness is important. Like, add another stat for hygiene. Because it feels like the elements for it to be there are there. There's, of course, there's water, and then there's soap. There's soap and stuff you can find, and lye and fat. So there's all sorts of stuff to make soap. You can also like wet rags and stuff. So there's kind of a foundation there. A bunch of zombie kids here. It's not going to be fun to kill those. Not because they're hard to kill, but because your character will be all sad. That you killed kids. Child zombies, of course, not real. There's a zombie dog somewhere. It sounds bigger than I thought it was. I think it's just because of how it's laid out. As long as I don't see like a really bad kind of zombie, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. As long as it's a decayed zombie, they're pretty easy. Smack, 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 smack. Alright. I could put on this raincoat just so I don't uh, get more upset by this rain. But at the same time, it doesn't fit, so I'd have to, I'd have to throw it on the ground every time I was gotten to combat. But that might be worth it for not getting the wet anger penalty. I don't know why sometimes these doors have a counter in front of them. I feel like that's something that they can fix relatively easily. No, oh, might just be the random generation of things. We have bloodliners. Uh, pair of boots. Finish this house and then we'll cut the video off. Unless maybe there's a basement, then maybe I'll save that for next video. As a surprise for us. Their pants are always good. Pocket watch is good to know the time. The rope's probably pretty good for uh, having a lot of cloth. Actually, it's pretty good storage, too. Might be a good option if you uh, don't start the game with crafting skills and can't find a trench coat. Oh, uh, yeah, there is a basement, so we'll check that out in the next video. Uh, salt water. There's uses for it, but not immediate ones. 
gallon jugs are also very good, but they're hard to carry with me, so not worth it. So this is where we'll end it for here. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.